This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, 5.3 balancing adjustments on the main and special rate pools. So, a charge can arise at any time on the main pool if the disposal proceeds exceeds the balance in the pool. An example four gives us um, information on how this looks. Uh, when we look at the various different um, aspects of it. So, Peter prepares accounts to the 31st of December. In the year to December 22, the following transactions took place. So, in April 22, plant was sold, originally bought for 10,200, and it was sold for um, 8,600. So, remember the rule the lower of those two and then a second hand car was bought with the emissions of 45 grams bought in 2000 the written down value on the main pool at the 1st of January was £4,000 so let's have a look at how that would work if we did a capital allowances computation so we have a main pool and some allowances in column. So the written down value brought forward, the 1st of January 22, is 4,000. And we have some additions from the question, 2,000. Subtotal now. Disposal, 8,600, which was the lower of the two, which means we've overclaimed and in order for the pool to be emptied, we'd need a balancing charge of 2,600, which would then go to there. And that would need then to be added to the adjusted profits. Okay, that would be added to the adjusted um, profits. Now, that's a balancing charge. A balancing charge any time. Balancing allowance only when the business ceases to trade. Now, when the business ceases to trade, there is no AIA, no written down allowance, no first year allowance. That's the rule. You add in the additions, you take out the disposals, and everything is a balancing allowance or a balancing charge. Um, example number five, let me show you how this works. So Chris prepared accounts to the 31st of December. Then he ceased to trade on the 31st of March 23, when all the planter machinery was sold for 5,000. Now, the main pool has a written down value of 12, and he'd bought some mach uh, planter machinery in the year as well. So just a quick computation. I'll show you how this works. So basically, if we've just got the pool, and we got written down value brought forward of 12 per the question. Yep, so that's that. Then we bought some and then we sold everything. Question tells us four, five, which leaves us with 11. Now this no written down allowances, no AIA, no first year allowance. It's only a balancing allowance in this case. That will be claimed and taken across to the final set of accounts. Now, when we prepare um, capital allowances computations, 
this is a kind of review of um, where we've been so far because I think it's important this is a question if it comes up in the exam that you can get a lot of marks for it is a chapter worth revisiting and revisiting until you've got this down practice the question so you are confident in your own mind that you can do these so I'm just going to review this again to make sure that um, you're happy with it okay use the set format okay you'll hear me say that time and time again so you want you list any tax written down values in the pools and non pool assets at the start given to you in the question copied into the pro forma you've set up pro forma down the side headings across the top list the expenditure qualifying for AIA in order first the special rate pool and then the main rate pool because if there's too much there and after you claimed IIA, the AIA, they have to go back into the pools. This one, you're only going to claim 6%, but this one you can claim 18%. So it's better to wipe assets out of that pool first so that you can put the main pool ones um, and get 18%. Add any uh, expenditure in excess of that limit back to the venous pools, as I've explained. Add to the relevant pool the cost of any cars, which qualify for written down allowance. Um, then deduct, so you put all the expenditure, um, added all the expenditure. Um, then you do all the deductions, all the sales. Um, don't forget, it's the lower of. Deduct the sale proceeds, maximum of the original cost at the lower of. That's the important thing. Then you work out the written down allowances, AIAs, first year allowances. And then you do the cars that are in qualifying for a um, first year allowance. Now, this is a full pro forma for capital allowances. I have to say it's unlikely you'll ever get one this big but I wanted you this has got everything in it it's got a main pool it's got an AIA column it's got a main pool it's got a special rate pool it's got a short life asset and it's got a private use asset and then it's got a total column on the end you're unlikely to get one with everything in it but this is kind of how I just wanted you to see it so we've got written down values brought forward which will be given to you in the question Additions that qualify for AIA, all the various different things that you would do. Um, those are the short life assets. These are the short life assets first. Because if there's a balance of those, they only get 6%. Um, special rate pool, um, short life assets. Um, additions, uh, these are the main pool ones, and they obviously, if there's too many of those and we've got any AIA, then we would um, put those into the pool. Other additions, there's your cars, there's your disposals. And I've noted here all the different notes, you can see the notes, which help. either 18 or 6% business use. This is just a review of what we've done before. And then the cars at the end, um, all the various different things um, that you would need. It is, it just, it just covers everything. And then we're going to have a look at a comprehensive example of how that's going to work. So let's have a look at example number six. Ling prepares accounts to the 31st of March. The written down value of the main pool was 30,000 and there's a car here which is her private use so it's in its own column and um, she uses it 20% private which means there will be 80% business use that we can um, that we can claim okay per, she, she bought an electric motor car zero emissions that gets a first year allowance. Um, computer equipment, AIA, 
machinery AIA plant AIA now all of those would then go in the main pool if there's too many of them a car with 40 percent uh, emissions that's also the main pool but no AIA thermal insulation for the business building that's the special rate pool but you can have AIA on it and she disposed of the car that she used privately so that's a disposal okay check all those dates all four within the year to March 23 yes they do okay now what I'd like you to do now is to pause this recording and have a go at working out what the answer is okay headings across the top I've given you some instructions here see what you can do okay and then pause it attempt it with the headings across the top proforma down the side use the proforma use the pages use the rules don't think you can do it straight off the top just have a go and then we'll come back to you in a moment pause me all right you ready and pause And there is your answer. I'd like you to look at your answer. And again, please mark your answer with what you got right and not what you got wrong. Okay, I'm going to give you some indication of the kind of marks that you could be getting for this. So you'd probably get half and half, two halves for copying the question. We like marks for copying. As long as you're copying the question to answer. No other copy, not allowed. All right, then you will have got probably one mark for dealing with that. That's your special rate pool item. You will then have got half, 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 half. So that would be another two. For your answer. You'll have got half for that and half for that. So putting items in the correct places, one, two, three, four, five marks for putting your answer into the correct columns. So it's important to remember where those are. There's a lot of marks to be gotten in that one. Now, where are we going to get the extra marks from? So we've got a written down allowance there. That'll be a half. We've got here, you're going to get one for that because you've put that correctly you will get one for that and half for your answer which is another one two three so there's eight marks in total so how did you do did you do okay read through the answer carefully give yourself marks for what you did right don't worry about what you did wrong. Now, if you did something wrong, you need to check the answer, go back to the notes to check why it wasn't quite right, and then try it again. Keep trying, keep doing, you can. Once you get these into your head, you'll be fine, okay. Now, the last kind of allowance in this um, chapter is the structures and buildings allowance. This is new. Um, it came in um, after March 21. So you won't have to deal with anything that is older than that. Okay. Um, it's an allowance of 3%. Now, everything else we've done has been on a reducing balance. And you've seen that with the numbers. Every time you take something off, it comes less. Then you do 18% on the smaller figure. Reduce it and so forth. This is straight line. In other words, you only have to work it out once. You can have it on factories, warehouses and offices, both wholesale and retail properties, um, cost of walls, tunnels and bridges. Okay. Um, dwelling houses and land don't qualify. Okay, you can't have it on those. 
Um, where an unused building is bought by a developer, the price paid excluding the land, because you can't have it on the land, is eligible for SBA or Structures and Buildings Allowances from the time the property is bought into use, such as it's used for a trade or letting. Hence, if a building is only bought into such use part way through the accounting period, then that written down allowance must be time apportioned. Okay, qualifying um, planter machinery don't get SBA. You've had planter machinery. Now, if the question states you're dealing with the purchase of the building rather than the construction of the building, then no SBA will be available unless the question specifically states that it can be claimed. Okay, be careful of that. 